moments ago, the undefeated Tigers of LSU, who've won the last two here in Gainesville. And the Florida Gators coming out on a winning streak now. Back-to-back -back SEC road wins for the first time in six years after their win last week. So you can see the series history. Florida leads all-time series, 32-29. And LSU is trying to change that a little bit. Game kicks off. LSU receives the ball. They look pretty good here on this first drive. They're attacking like they normally do, uh, like they have been during the season. A uh, little screen play, shooting down the field, you know. Uh, another shotgun pass play, which is they're just foot on the gas pedal, and a nice little handoff here to get that, that touchdown by Bursett. So it's starting off great. First drive, beginning of the game, LSU's getting a touchdown. So in Gainesville, that's what you want to see. And an extra point makes it good. 7 nothing. So Florida doesn't really do anything on their drive, so LSU gets it back. And Elair is, you know, once again, he's just a phenomenal runner. It's unfortunate the way this game plays out that he doesn't get more. But Florida, Florida doesn't, uh, I mean, they're a good team. Hats off to Florida. They always have been a good team. And it's very, very hard to go in Gainesville and control the game. So, and Felipe Franks is a, a phenomenal quarterback. Um, gets nailed right here, though. Does not get the first down. So they have to punt. But LSU doesn't really do anything either. So, this was, this was a tough, hard-fought battle back and forth, you know. And uh, hats off to Florida. They came ready to play. A little penalty here. People getting a little, a little excited. Grabbing face masks and things of that nature. And, uh, you know, long third and four. Big sack on Burrow. He had, he had issues as far as protection all game. The offensive line had, had problems with Florida's defensive line, which... Did not bode well for Burrow. If you notice at the end of this video, you'll see Burrow's uniform is extremely dirty. Look at this. Just a, just a manhandle run, power run by Florida. Their offensive line did a very, very good job uh, with the run scheme against D, uh, LSU's defense. And uh, this gives them their first touchdown of the game. Breaking the scabbard. Tied it up right chomping. And I mean, it's a Florida's jacked. Florida is jacked up, man. They're excited to play this game, and it shows. I mean, look at this right here with the defense just getting the push, man. Defensive coordinator was tired of watching that first drive. He's coming after him almost on every play light right now. Off the edge, he's attacking this offense. Gardner Johnson. Burrow, more pressure from the backside. He's going down again. Burrow trying to draw him offside so far. So yeah, this is the fourth down play. They're, they're trying to draw him offside, but it doesn't. It doesn't happen. Florida's discipline with that, so they have to punt the ball back. But they're going to keep it out of his hands as best they can. They'll get third down. Franks again. Did not get the first down here. Defense. I'll tell you, I, I'm impressed both sides. You know, I mean, the fight that. LSU had this is a great run by Elair. The 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 fight both sides and Burrow busting up the middle with a nice run here. But back and forth, LSU and Florida. Hats off to both teams because they really tried extremely hard. Couldn't get a touchdown there, so they had to settle for a field goal. This option play destroys LSU. They gotta figure out a way to handle this. Because they obviously were not ready. And once again, with another option run, big yardage on both plays. Illegal block in the back. Number 65 on the offense. 10-yard penalty. We play first down. Javon, ten. we had him again with the call. So they did have a penalty there, which brought it back. Still a great run, but same drive. So going deep. To the corner. Or was it? Oh, no. He touched the the white line. So it was not a touchdown. But Florida, as being Florida, gets one anyway. So. Extra point is up and good. 
to hang my hat on, and then I can distort the defense. Here's Felipe off play action on first down, going long. Man out there, and he got him on the run. The flag is down, but Josh Hammond has it all the way down to the 26-yard line. There were two fouls against the play against LSU. Oh, oh, Pass oh. interference, number 25. That penalty is canceled. Personal foul, hands in the face, 45. That penalty being forced 15 yards from the end of the run. First down. LSU's got to settle down here in this game. I mean, you can see the the hand of the face. They uh, they got more penalties today, the stupid penalties that they usually don't do. This is a great pick by Delpit. I mean, absolutely phenomenal pick. Florida's driving down the field, doing really, really well, pushing LSU around, and Delpit comes up with a great interception. Franks threw the ball horribly and got stuck at the same time, so... But props to uh, Del for being in the right place at the right time. All right, commercial time, folks. I'm not sponsored by Zaxby's, but who in their right minds opens up a chair like that? Just had to share that. LSU's punting again, so the, the interception didn't do anything. And, oh, it's LSU ball. Um, but it's not because there's a flag. I don't know if he called a fair catch or not. Yeah, I think it's going to be interference, though. I think Florida's going to get this ball back. Kick catch interference on the kicking team, number 27. 15-yard penalty, first down. So, yep, we get a 15-yard penalty out of it, but they don't really do much. I mean, they get stuffed on that third down run. And then another flag happens. There was quite a few flags of players going back and forth. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct on the offense, number four. That's right. That's number four's first of the game. That's a 15-yard penalty. That was after the play, so it'll still be fourth down. So when you punch somebody in the face, you, you, you're going to get a flag. But Wildcat trying to go, trying to go, gets the first down. Florida showed a lot of different looks. This Wildcat did not work. That snap went way over that dude's head. And uh, couldn't, couldn't, I mean, almost got back to the line of scrimmage. After review, the player's foot was out of bounds. Therefore, it's an incomplete pass. Definitely incomplete pass. So, nice punt here. Real nice punt. Guy's going to try to get him, pin him deep on the one, but could not do it. So... LSU's got to step up, man. They got to do something, and Bursette figures it out. The offensive line does a really good job blocking on this drive, and uh, he takes care of business, runs on down the field. Uh, a couple plays later, Bursette again, busts up to the second level. Got to wish he had a little bit, touch more speed, because that would have been a touchdown. But it's, he's down on the two-yard line, so here we go. One-yard line, and he gets a TD. Touchdown for LSU, and man, we're in this game right now. We are in this game. Take the lead. You can see right here, he's definitely in the end zone for the touchdown. So, going for two. Need to go for two. Need to get the two. Can't, can't complete a pass when a guy, look, he's got his left hand on his shoulder pads, pulling him down. Can't complete a pass when you do something like that. But, hey, guess what? Nothing's called. Florida comes back next drive. Nice pass. I mean, really nice pass and catch, dude. Great confidence. And here's the here's the option again, people. This is the option from Florida. LSU has no answer for it. They really don't. Been a nice called run here on, on with Felipe Franks. Gets him another first down on the third and long. So, and here we go. A little handoff. Oh wait, no. Oh, he's gonna pass it to Franks. Another first down. Almost a touchdown. And then. The nail in the coffin on this drive for a touchdown. That was a huge momentum killer for Florida on LSU. They had to go for two, but they're still jacked, man. That was a major, major answer. And I think that was the turn of the game right there. And then they just start pinning their ears back, man. They really do. Uh, LSU's offense has no answer for what was being thrown at them right here. But I really do think that Florida's answer to LSU's touchdown is the major turning point in this game. So LSU gets the ball back. Two minutes and 20 seconds left. They had a punt. This is make or break time, people. Interception. First thrown interception all year by Burrow. 
and they uh, they capitalize on it. So the game is still in reach. You get a touchdown and a two point conversion, and you get you know uh, you're in the game. During the return, personal foul, face mask, return team, number 23. So we get a, a little help on the penalty yardage, but you can't take a sack. You got to protect your quarterback, you, and quarterback cannot take a sack down here. So another sack, which you cannot take. You just can't do it, man. Not at this point in the game. Long pass down the field for the first down on a fourth and long. Gives them a little bit of life, and the next couple of plays is extremely disappointing. Incomplete drop pass by Jefferson. Throws for a first down. Incomplete drop pass by Sullivan. Now you're fourth and ten. This is the game. And Burrow is just trying his heart out. Bless his heart. Because there's nothing else they can do. Another interception and a kneel down is going to seal the victory for Florida. It's a shame watching it as an LSU fan to see this, but it it's extremely hard at the same time to go into Gainesville and, and beat Florida. I mean, they're a very good team. They obviously wanted it more. They, LSU got outplayed there in the second half for sure. And that's your ball game. <laughs>